Ugh, I'm so angry. It's not even Thor. So the Thor Ragnarok prelude is about to get dead. Marvel hired writer Will Corona Pilgrim to turn the opening act of the Incredible Hulk film with Edward Norton into a comic book, because the only people that saw that garbage were Liv Tyler, Edward Norton, and their parents. Dude. This comic starts off with a blunder. Super genius Bruce Banner is working as a soda assembly line operator when he attempts to help his boss with the assembly line switch, and somehow hurts himself so badly that he bleeds. He frantically races to the soda balls to clean up his tainted blood, naturally leaving some behind because this super genius is retarded. Dude. Is there no quality control at this soda plant? Is it just Bruce and his boss? Nobody would let these bottles go out with blood in them, radioactive or not. Writer tip number 21, if you're paid to adapt a piece of garbage, you don't have to recreate the same track. You can recycle it into postmodern art. Dude. Just when I'm ready to give up on this book, it delivers one of the best briefing panels I've seen in the comic world. You know why? Because it was brief. So of course, they add to the briefing with unnecessary details. Dude. <clears throat> Your target is a murderer, so you get tranquilizer darts to take him down. Backup will have real guns. Two pages later, the strike team is shooting live rounds at Green Thor. As best I could tell from the beginning is that a scientist messed with science he didn't understand and killed someone close to him. But by the end, I realize he didn't kill his girlfriend, he's just ashamed at his lack of intellect so he hides behind a trash can after stalking her. But this is the world of Marvel's superheroes, so she invites him back to her place anyways, leaving her date behind. Though who could blame her? That guy took three panels sputtering gibberish. Luckily, the love interest has a flash drive with all the data Bruce Banner needs to cure himself of Green Thor disease, but idiot Banner tries to eat it, probably before he even looked at the data, despite having all night to do so with no interruptions. Flash drives don't work after you eat them, Bruce. Trust me, I've tried. Yeah. Now, I don't know what the dick Marvel's trying to do here other than certify that the Incredible Hulk was the official prelude to Thor Ragnarok, but an Easter egg would have worked a whole lot better. Artist J.L. Giles and colorist J. David Ramos saved this book from utter disaster, but they're just painting the prettiest parts of the movie, too. Thor Ragnarok prelude gets a three on the Richter scale. Thor's not even in it. Let us know what you think of Marvel's decision here in the comments below. Remember to subscribe and like the video if you want us to have a boycott Thor Ragnarok party to stand against Disney's withered hand encroaching on the comic books. And come back next week for more. Dude.